Or is it a move that indicates the ever-growing partnership between the US and India? Or is it aimed to overtly provoke China? Well, those are some of the questions being asked as a delegation of US lawmakers made their way to Dharamshala in India to meet the Tibetan government in exile. This is China warned of repercussions. Top US lawmakers such as Nancy Pelosi said China had no right to choose the Dalai Lama's successor. We explore the latest flashpoint. A group of US lawmakers in India to meet the Tibetan government in exile in Dharamsala. The bipartisan US delegation led by US House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Michael McCall reaffirmed its support to Tibetan autonomy. The delegation of lawmakers included the former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and prominent congressional members. In a carefully timed visit that was bound to irk China, the former American House Speaker called the meeting a blessing and an honor to meet the Tibetan spiritual leader. She also added that the Tibet Resolve Act is a message for China. He will live a long time and his legacy will live forever. But to you, President of China, you'll be gone and nobody will give you credit for anything. For the Dalai Lama knows that this is not true, that Tibet is part of China. And the people of Tibet know that that is not true. And the United States of America knows that that is not true. But it is still my hope that one day the Dalai Lama and his people will return to their home in Tibet in peace. The visit comes a week after the U.S. House of Representatives passed a vote for the Resolve Tibet Act, which has now been sent to President Joe Biden in order to become a law. The Resolve Tibet Act was first passed by the U.S. House of Representatives in February 2023. The bill urges China to negotiate with the Tibetan leadership, and that too without preconditions. It is aimed at resolving the long-standing issues between Tibet and Beijing. China, of course, views the Dalai Lama's actions as anti-China and is firmly against the Dalai Lama meeting officials of any country. This Resolve Act, Tibet Resolve Act, which is meant to promote negotiated solution for Tibet, uh, will be the first in a country now who will challenge China's claim over Tibet that Tibet has been part of China since antiquity or time immemorial. So this will be a new uh, uh, tool in our hand also to work with other governments in future. Reacting to the current meeting, Beijing reiterated Xi Zhang, as it calls Tibet, has always been a part of China and no external influence would ever be allowed and that it will take resolute measures to firmly defend its sovereignty, security and development interests. The Chinese government's position on Tibet-related issues is consistent and clear, and Tibetan affairs are China's internal affairs, which allows for no interference by any external forces. We urge the United States to fully recognize the importance and sensitivity of Tibet-related issues and earnestly respect China's core interests and stop sending the wrong messages to the outside world. For the last few years, ties have remained tense between Beijing and Washington. Just last week, the G7 nations singled out China for its support to Russia's war against Ukraine and a host of other issues. While India has deployed thousands of troops and military hardware mirroring China's confrontational deployment along its border with India after the Galwan Valley clashes. Amid India's friction with China, US-India ties have been growing stronger in recent years. The US and its allies see India as a counterbalance to China. Since 1959, Dharamsala in India's Himachal Pradesh has been home to the Tibetan government in exile and the Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama fled Tibet in 1959, this after a failed uprising against Chinese rule for more than six decades, a large Tibetan community led by the Dalai Lama has been living in India. This week saw a key visit of the US Congress delegation to Dharamshala where they met Dalai Lama. The visit happens in the backdrop of the passage of the Resolved Tibet Act. And this visit naturally has angered China. A strong reaction from China has come. But how will this visit impact the U.S.-China relationship in an election year is something that will be closely watched. 
विद वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट नीरज पटेल सिद्धांत सिबल फॉर वी ऑन इन धर्मशाला इंडिया फॉर ऑल द लेटेस्ट न्यूज डाउनलोड वी ऑन एप एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल